nature. Oh. Tasty. Oh my god. Spit that out, James. You no, you did it. I'm a vegetarian, mother. Valve has given developers access to the beta for Steam Cloud Play. It's unclear exactly what this new service will look like for consumers, but here's what we know. Steam Cloud Play can apparently integrate cloud streaming services into your Steam library, allowing you to launch services like GeForce Now from Steam. Okay, but why would you want to do that instead of just using GeForce Now regularly or streaming uh, from your own PC using Steam Remote Play? Well, the key difference here seems to be that Steam Cloud Play could involve streaming games not from your own PC or NVIDIA servers, but from servers hosted by Valve. Why do I care? It also looks like Steam Cloud Play integration could help services like GeForce Now expand their library of supported games. That would be nice if it's super easy for publishers to opt in via Steam platform. The news comes just as GeForce Now is actually getting some AAA games from Ubisoft back on the platform through the Epic Game Store. But let's be real here, guys. No one owns those games on EGS. We all just claim the free games. Thank you, Fortnite. I'm not going to buy it if I don't have to. Okay, we're going to talk about Trump and Twitter now, okay? But you got to keep it chill, okay? Let's all just... This week has seen a tense confrontation between Twitter and U.S. President Donald Trump over a number of his tweets. It started on Tuesday when Twitter pinned a fact-checking link to one of Trump's tweets, in which he claimed that mail-in ballots will lead to election fraud. Then on Thursday, Trump signed an executive order directing the FCC and FTC to investigate whether new regulations could be placed on social media giants like Twitter and Facebook, which would effectively turn them into publishers, which are liable and can be sued for the content they host instead of merely platforms, which are not liable for said content. Currently, Twitter and Facebook are protected from liability by Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, there's plants in my mouth, which both Trump and Joe Biden want to overturn. It's unclear what an order like this would accomplish for Trump, as Twitter might be more incentivized to remove sensitive tweets if they are liable for hosting certain content, which is the very thing that prompted this whole debacle in the first place! How ironic! I don't get it. While Twitter is going head to head with the president, Mark Zuckerberg apparently wants to just stay out of it. You know, robots, they <laughs> don't like drama. Zuckerberg said in an interview that Facebook shouldn't be the arbiter of truth, even though the platform has been fact-checking posts about the American election and the COVID-19 pandemic. We'll have to wait and see what the future of social media looks like, but on the bright side, at least you can now schedule tweets on desktop Yay. again. Again? No, now. Oh. You, well. Later. Yeah, the future. Yeah. Now for some lighter news. HP has unveiled the Reverb G2 headset for desktop-powered VR, and it might have just knocked the index out of the best VR headset throne. It's 599 US with a per eye resolution of 2160 by 2160. That's a square. The index's panels are just 1440p. It's got a 90 hertz refresh rate and a field of view around 114 degrees, although field of view is dependent upon a number of factors, so it's hard to describe with a single number. Riley, everybody knows that. But Valve apparently isn't scared of the headset's success. They actually worked with HP to develop, and you can see that in the G2's speakers, which looked like they were taken right off an index. Microsoft also helped HP. They developed the unit's new Windows Mixed Reality controllers, which come with the headset. The Reverb G2 uses inside-out tracking, no base stations required, so we'll have to see whether Linus looks just as silly playing Beat Saber wearing this thing instead of the index. Now it's time for the quick bits, brought to you by XSplit VCAM. All the letters. It can remove, replace, and blur your streaming background without a green screen, and it works with any webcam, damn it, anyone! So there's no need for complicated lighting setups. This isn't film school, it's the internet, gosh darn it! You can customize the background to anything you want, and it works with other XSplit broadcast tools and even messaging apps like Slack, Hangouts, Skype, and more. XSplit promises 24-7 support and lifetime updates for as little as $39.95 for a lifetime license or $9.95 for three months. That's three bucks a month. That's like a coffee or a flapjack. You can also use code Linus Tech Tips to get 10% off, so do that at the link below. This is like free in America. Quick this mm, with syrup. Hey, did you buy this $370 USB stick that promises to protect you from 5G radiation? Well, I'm sorry, you're an idiot. No refunds. You see, it doesn't actually use quantum holographic catalyzer technology for the balance and harmonization of the harmful effects of imbalanced electrical radiation at all. It doesn't do anything because it's a 128 megabyte, megabyte USB key with a sticker on it. And you should have known. Shame on you and your country 
uh, which poorly educated you, and the companies in your country that let you be in a filter bubble. Ah. Samsung has officially unveiled a new version of the Galaxy Book S, featuring an Intel Lakefield processor instead of the Qualcomm 8CX ARM chipset. If it's good, the first Lakefield laptop could prove ARM doesn't have a place in the future of thin-in lights after all, and Intel really needs a win right now. So come on, guys, look into your hearts. I think I saw them last night outside a bar, uh, just sitting on the curb, crying into their Budweiser, and they're not supposed to bring the glasses outside. NVIDIA has launched Quadro Experience, a Windows app that fulfills many of the same functions for PCs running Quadro graphics cards as the GeForce Experience app does for systems with gaming-focused GeForce cards. <laughs> so I guess you're not gonna download it either. Users can record 4K footage, get driver updates, and optimize games. Because don't forget, you can run games on a Quadro too. You're just, if you do that, well, you're just spending a lot more to do that. Russians, that's how Hillary Clinton says it, the Russians are hacking our email. The NSA says a division of the Russian military, codenamed Sandworm, very Dune, has been attacking email servers that run the, the Exum mail transfer agent. It's an agent, which is used in both private and government organizations. Hopefully this naming and shaming will get IT managers to issue patches, but you know, the most effective way to kill a sandworm? What is it? Spoilers. I thought you would know, because Dune, how do you kill it? I can't even respond to that without spoilers. Jeez. And an app by Yamaha called Remote Cheerer will let sports fans who are watching matches from home connect to giant speakers in the stadium so they can cheer on their teams from afar, but the players won't hear your actual voice. Fans will choose from a preset selection of cheers, boos, and rhythmic claps. That's probably for the best. I was gonna say this is a recipe for the biggest Zoom bomb ever. This is so stupid. Come on, ref! Like, if there's not a good turnout, the people on the soundboard are just like, just turn it up anyway. They're like, they're cheering us on! They really like you! That's enough of this nonsense. Come back on Monday for more tech news and maybe we'll have a building. We won't have to survive on plants! Don't do it, James. How do you feel? I'm going prickly leaf exclusive. This is actually the best leaf I've eaten.